Hello and welcome to another tutorial, but this time, although we've got Omnisphere open, we're not actually going to be programming anything Omnisphere. What we're going to be looking at today is voice leading. What do I mean by voice leading? Well, have you ever played a chord progression? Although it, it sounded good, it just, just lacks that flow. Well, that's the, going to be the voice of the world of voice leading. Because what voice leading is all about is moving from one chord smoothly to the next with the least travel. What do you mean by that? Well, let's take um, a scale of A minor to start with. So it's all the white notes from A to A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and A. I'm gonna look at four specific chords of that scale. I'm gonna take A minor. I'm gonna take F major. I'm gonna take C major, I'm going to take E minor, and then we're going to move to A minor. Now, the ones that are voiced in music theory may suddenly think, hang on, that's not A minor. Well, we're using the A natural minor, um, and that uses all the white notes. We'll come to harmonic and melodic scales in another tutorial. So for this one, we're just going to stick with A minor, F major, C major, E minor, A minor. And you think, it sounds okay, but there's a lot of jumping around. Um, well, voice leading will we'll smooth that out for you. So let's, let's look at this in more detail. We've got an A minor chord here. Now we want to move to an F major chord, so what's what's in common between the A minor and the F major? Well, we've got the A and the C there, well, that's common. The only odd note is the E, so we'll move that up one to the F, so we go from A minor to the F. And we think, well, we need to move to a C major now, so what notes have we got in common there between that note, that chord, and that chord? Well, we've got the C that's in common there. Your two fingers are already there, so hang on. Let's move these two down a, a step. So we get C, A minor, F, C. And then all we need to do to get to the E minor is move your C note down to the B. That's your E minor. And then we're back to A. I'm just keeping the E where it is. Now, to make it quite lush sounding this, we can um, play octaves in the left hand. That's one way of voice leading. There are several ways of actually moving between the chords of A minor, F, C major, E minor, and back to A. Because we can start it down in here. A, F, C, E minor. Oh, 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 back to A minor. So it's least travel, and that's voice leading for you. So we'll stop there for this tutorial. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, then please comment below. Um, if you would like me to cover any other aspects of music theory, synthesizers, synthesis, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, and you can also check out my website, www.biodiode.com. The link is in the uh, descriptions below, along with the link to my Patreon page. Uh, if you would like to support me in what I'm trying to do here and educating and hopefully helping you in your music endeavours, uh, have a look at the page. Okay, thank you for now.